first flight on Virgin. Where are we going? Tasmania. And just like that, here we are in Tasmania. If you would have asked me a few years ago if I would ever get to Tasmania, I would have said I'd love to, but I just don't see it happening. Cannot believe we're actually in Tasmania. Really looking forward to this week. Well, it's quite a bit colder than we're used to, but the harbor down here in Hobart is just awesome. changed and the tour company put us on a bus and brought us up to Launceston. Launceston, Tasmania is supposed to be one of the most haunted cities in all of Australia. We're going on a ghost tour. Well of course we'd head down the dark pathway to start the tour. Down into the old morgue. This is fun. <laughs> begun our jump tours tour of Tasmania. They picked us up in Launceston and we piled in the van with a bunch of folks and now we're driving around the east coast. And of course, because we're here, it's raining. <laughs> and we got a bunch of Trojans. A bunch of USC Trojans. <laughs> and a Yukon Husky, not the bad kind. These are full trees that were needing to be cut down, so instead of cutting them down, they had them carved into war memorials. We're stopping at a dairy and cream ring, so we're gonna do some cheese tasting. The automated part of this is amazing. The cows have electronic collars, and they go in when they want, and to get milk, to, to get milked, to eat, it's all automated. It's cool. Magic cows. <laughs> Magic tourists. Cows are smart. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> I've mentioned that a lot. So instead of going out and spending the day on the beach, we are going to a waterfall. Hello. Hello. This is Bay of Fires. It's not warm enough to swim, but it's one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. First night of accommodation in Bichino, little old whaling port that's now like a tourist town. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if that view comes out back there, but holy cow. Um, it's group dorms, but it's actually a really nice little place. Yeah. We're going to go out and get some food. Check out this gorgeous sunrise in eastern Tasmania. We are at the nature reserve park to watch the Tasmanian devils get fed and they have a bunch of other rescue animals around in here. And of course it's pouring down rain. <laughs> but I love cake, so we're going to do it. And it's cool! <laughs> Perfect and <laughs> Surprise of surprises, it is still pissing down rain. But uh pouring. We call it pour, pouring rain. Alright. It is still pouring down rain. Yeah, it's really nice. Uniform upgrade, because you know how I love the cold. <laughs> Of you. I don't even know what's behind me, but I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of freezing cold people. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> and wet. The sun came out for a bit. We're up in Freycinet National Park. Can I hike Wine Glass Bay? Wine Glass Bay. So, that'll take us 45 minutes to walk up there. Okay, so. Come on, Trojan. <laughs> Holy 
cow, this is Wine Glass Bay. It is a long ways to the top, as you can probably tell, but it is well worth the view. And thankfully, we got a little bit of sun for the day. Well, for this part of the day, it's been pouring the rest of the day. So that's not why I'm wet. What do you think? Oh, it is breathtaking. And the walk up is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and that's how accidents happen. I have found a cure for my drone envy. Ha <laughs> We are walking to the lighthouse. New Zealand's about a thousand kilometers that way. We're looking for seals. We have stopped at Kate's Berry Farm. Not my Kate. I think my Kate's in the restroom. Supposed to have good ice cream and wonderful natural berries here. This morning we're heading over to Bruni Island, a little island off the coast of Tasmania. It's cold. It's wet, but it's beautiful. Very pretty. And now there's some cheese sandwich. It's called Two Tree Beach because of those two trees. strong enough gust to knock you off your feet like standing in the rotor wash of a Chinook. Absolutely beautiful, cold and crazy. Thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good.